Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Pimp My PC. Now, this is the show we try to teach you how to personalize, customize, trick out that PC, but above all, make it cool. Now, today we're going to continue our Windows 7 pimps, and today we're tackling that start button. Doesn't seem like a big deal, but trust me, every pimp helps, all right? Let's step into my office and get started. All right, so as you can see in the lower left hand corner here, I've got my start orb. It's no longer a start button now, and I guess orb just sounds way cooler, right? But uh, the first thing I wanted to show you is when you, um, when you go over it here, you can see like a little bit of an animation that happens. You may not have noticed that before, but, uh, but there it is. So that's pretty cool. Now you might be thinking, hey, why do I want to change my start button? Well, the cool thing is, is what I found is that Windows 7 is probably the easiest uh, Windows operating system to mod and to kind of personalize and make it your own. Uh, you could take, uh, like my director Matt, for example, loves the Boston Bruins. He could take a little Boston Bruin logo and make that into his logo if he wanted to. So that's sort of the reason. Oh, shut up, Matt. Go Canucks, go! So, having said that, I'm going to show you the meat of this pimp, guys. And, uh, and the other thing, too, is, is uh, there's no registry tweaks or anything like that at all. It's a really, really easy process. I'm going to show you how to, how to do that right now. Now, the first place you're going to want to go is uh, askvg.com. It's our, our good friend Vishal who's helped us out with a couple of, a couple of other episodes previous. And um, basically just go to askvg.com. And uh, he's actually got everything laid out really well for you. So um, you can see all the different mods that you can do. So just basically do a search for the start button and you'll get right to it. So we'll just scroll down and uh, show you a little bit of what uh, Vishal has done here. So we've got some screenshots of what you're actually going to be looking at and some, uh, some tips on uh, actually doing the mod. Uh, and also a link to download the program itself. Again, nothing really too, uh, too big about it. Download it, install it, you're good to go. There is a, there is a readme file on it, um, and I, I would take the time to read it, but basically everything it tells you that needs to be done, it does for you, but it's good to be aware of it anyways. And uh, the other thing too to keep in mind is that uh, if you do your start uh, button change and it errors out on you, run the program as an administrator, you'd be gravy after that. So what I'm going to do is open up the program that we got from Vishal's site. And uh, what I'm going to do on it is just to, to sort, of, uh, sort of make sure that I don't have any errors when I, when I make the pimp, I'm going to run this program as an administrator. And I would suggest you do that as well, just so you don't waste any time, right? So you see the program comes up. Uh, it's just as easy as clicking on Select and Change the Start button. And uh, you can see I've got a folder here. Uh, Ten sample orbs were actually included with the program, so that was pretty cool. And I'll show those off to you right now. And the one that kind of popped out at me was the, uh, the smiley face. So you'll see once uh, Explorer starts back up, look at that. My start orb is now a smiley orb. And uh, what I'm going to do is just click over it. And you'll see the mouth kind of opens up. And if I actually click on it, it kind of becomes that uh, tongue to the side making a joke. Now, one thing I would suggest as well is anytime you uh, want to make another pimp or you want to kind of sample those, always change it back to the original. And the program actually creates a restore point for you. So it's uh, really nothing doing, man. You guys are all good there. And as you can see, I click that, and my start button is now the original that it was before. So happy faces are all well and good, but I don't think it reflects my personality quite as much as I would like. Um, and this is Pimp My PC, guys, so you know that we like to do that perverse thing of customizations within customizations. So we're going to keep that ball rolling. Now, you can actually make your own start orbs. Uh, it won't take you too much, uh, too much time or effort. Uh, you just need some, uh, some photo editing software like Photoshop. And I should say you, because I personally couldn't do it, but my associate producer, Michael, did it in about two to five minutes, and he got, uh, got a pretty pimped logo. You'll see that in just a second here. So we're going to click on it again, and you're going to see that pimp start orb. Now, where's that from? That looks fancy. So, uh, so that's going to load up for us, and then you're going to see now the start orb on my uh, Windows 7 operating system is now the logo for Pimp My PC. We talked about those animations earlier, and Michael really pimped this one out, pun intended. If I run my cursor over it, you're going to see the colors will invert, and then if I click on it, it's going to go to a different color scheme like that as well. So Michael totally pimped this out for us. Love you, Michael. So if you're nice to him, maybe he'll uh, share that uh, Pimp My PC or with you guys. Just head over to butterscotch.com, check out the show notes, because Michael's done his homework, and he'll tell you guys about the uh, resolution, size, and file type restrictions that you're going to see there. Well, that's today's show, guys. Make sure you check out show notes at butterscotch.com so you can change your start orb. And uh, hit me up at lucas at butterscotch.com and uh, show me some of those start orbs that you guys are making, because to be honest with you, I wouldn't mind pimping out my PC with some of the start orbs that you guys are making. In the meantime, I'm Lucas. You guys keep it unique. See ya!